guys, it's Jag Gamer, and today I've got another Primal Clash deck for you guys. This time, it's the one from the poll on Google+, Plus, the most voted on. It's Landorus and Primal Groudon EX with Metacham as support. These guys are soup, make a super strong fighting deck, and with strong energy, they're quite a threat. So you have Metacham. What makes this guy so good is his Omega Barrage Ancient Trait with Yo Yoga Kick is a super good move because just for two strong energy and a muscle band, you're doing 90 damage on one attack, and this says you can attack again, do another 90 damage. That's pretty much knocking out all EXs, that magic number, except for Waylord and Megas, but one more attack and they're down. Metacham is super strong for a stage one Despite his 90 HP, you could use Calm Mind strategically to heal damage from this guy, so that makes him even better. While attacking, he still can heal himself. Now we have Landorus here. He's the main energy accelerator, Shout of Power. You want to get those energies from your discard pile to your bench Pokemon. You have Battle Compressors, so you can get those energies into your discard pile in the first place. And with Karina getting Landorus and getting battle compressor isn't much of a problem in the beginning of the game I recommend running four but you could run three and throw in an extra Lysander or some other important card you think you might need but I run four because of how useful Karina is in the early stage of the game and it's crucial to get one so you can start setting up this super powerful fighting deck you could also get switch if you need in case you're stuck with a Metatite in the beginning, you can easily get Lando with Fighting Energy and already start powering up. Primal Groudon, his attack, Gaia Volcano, that's 200 damage if there's a stadium in play. And usually there will be, and not only that, but if it's a stadium of your opponents that you don't want, that stadium will be discarded. But if it's yours, it's no big deal because the stadium we're running is Shrine of Memories. So, this stadium lets you use attacks from your previous evolution. So, Groudon, Primal Groudon can use Massive Rend with, with one strong energy, a Muscle Band, or two strong energies, Muscle Band. That's doing lots of damage already to knock out pretty much 90% of all Pokemon TCGO cards. So, it isn't really necessary to use Gaia Volcano and discard your stadium if you need it over and over again you can use it strategically when you need it and you can use massive rend it has no effect but it has a huge amount of damage so you will still have that shrine of memories in play until he plays a stadium then you can use guile volcano but either way they still will knock out your opponent and you still can use both attacks when you need them not only that but i run an a spec dowsing machine and 4-4-N four, four, and Juniper, you've got one Lysander, two Headringers, always nice to throw that in, or maybe you could throw an Enhanced Hammer. You need the Spirit Link to Mega or Primal Evolve Groudon EX without losing your turn. And that's pretty much it. I've got eight Fighting Energies and four Strong Energies, which are crucial to this deck. And one more thing to add is Tool Retriever, this guy. You can take um, Tool cards, attach your Pokemon, and put them into your hand, and reattach them to any Pokemon you need. So basically, if Primal Ground and EX has a Spear Link and you'd like to attach a Muscle Band, you can take it off and attach that Muscle Band you have in your hand. Super useful. And that's enough of me rambling on about this deck. Let me show you it in action in a versus match. So here we go. Primal Ground on EX. Let's see what this guy can do. Okay, we found an opponent. It's Taka. You see you see Dark Psychic, that's a common combination, but usually fighting doesn't go along that well. One more thing I didn't mention is I did not include Holucha, but that could be an excellent support as well instead of Metatite. But Metatite is just so powerful and it's easily fit into this deck that, you know, it's definitely worth it to have it. So I don't need Shrine of Memories at the moment, and I don't want to discard all these wonderful cards and my A spec. So I'm going to play the end this early in the game. Hopefully, okay, I've got a Metatite, 
and a battle compressor. This is, isn't the best start. I have yet to see a Landris. I have all the cards I need except that actual Landris. And I don't have a Karina or an Ultra Ball. So I guess I could use the Battle Compressor. Discard two Fighting Energy. Just two at the moment because I still want to draw them. So I can power up my Lando next turn when I play the N. And I might as well just attach one to the benched Metatite so it isn't weak and exposed. But I doubt he'll be able to knock out Metatite first turn. But never mind, that doubt is gone. Strong energy could change a lot. And a muscle band. Yes, my doubt is completely gone. He will knock out that Metatite. But that's alright. We've got Metacham. And we do run Switch in this deck. So if that Lando comes up, it shouldn't be too much of a problem getting him into play and charging up the fighting Pokemon. So we see Laser, which is an interesting choice. I wonder why he would run Laser in a deck like this. Because I wouldn't think he would want to run Verbank with a fighting deck. And that was essentially useless. That Laser should have saved it for this meta type. But I'm going to evolve. And I don't need the switch. Uh, why not bench, bench the Metatite and play the N? So we see two Primal Groudons. Not what I wanted to see. But yet again, we see a strong energy. So we've won the game already. That's what I wanted to see. Alright, since this game was so darn short, I'll play another one. Yoga Kick. And then we get to attack again. Yoga Kick one more time. And Makahita goes down. And he has no more playable Pokemon. So victory for us. Let's see what we get. 10 trainer coins. 11 as a... One more as a bonus. So we're going to play this deck again. With a quick early win, we are off to a good start. Hopefully we can muster out two wins with this deck. Now we see a fighting... A, we see a water and grass deck. And we see the... Team Aqua card sleeves versus Team Magma card sleeves and coin. It's going to be pretty epic. We see he's got a nice deck. It's going to be quite a challenge. He's got full arts and all this stuff. But we start off with Philandris. And one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, Professor's Letter is a great addition to this deck. Because in an early game, if you don't have that those energies you need, you can get them. So I'm going to draw those cards and look exactly what I've gotten. So I'm definitely going to play the Karina. I'm going to fetch myself a Metatite. And as for energy, as for this, I'm going to fetch myself Battle Compressor. So I can discard some Fighting Energy. So I'm going to bench this Metatite. Attach a regular Energy to Lando. Strong energy I'll save for ground on next turn. Even if he plays an N, that's still pretty beneficial for me. So I'm going to discard three because I've got Lando set up early game in the game. And we're bound to get lots of these onto our bench Pokemon. But I can't attack since it's first turn, I just realized. So I'm going to have to sit it out and wait and see what he does. We see a Blastoise EX, which isn't seeing much usage. And we see the jamming net go onto it right away. But jamming net is not the ideal team flare item that you want to have as compared to head ringer. Head ringer is much more of a head ringer. But I'm actually going to make an interesting choice and make a evolve primal ground on because I don't see him doing much damage at all. And out goes, no, the, it's going to come back right after. But I lose my turn, but it's still worth it because I'm already off to a big start. And Kangaskhan is pretty weak card. Attacks are reduced by 20 because of the Evil Light. I don't know why he needs to run that instead of Hard Charm, but I suppose he can have his Evil Light and feel special. So he's going to do Kendrick Kick, and 100 damage it is. Muscle Band that would have taken him out, but it wasn't. And attach this energy to Primal Groudon and use this N and see what I get. Alright, I've got another Lando and an Ultra Ball. I've benched the Lando, 
so I can set it up if this Lando goes down I'm thinking about if I should use the Ultra Ball get a Metacham maybe discard this via Seeker and then use the Juniper next turn so I'm gonna get my Metacham my Metacham evolve this guy but I'm still going to power up Primal Groudon alright here we go Primal Groudon is already having three energy and one thing I forgot to mention is Primal Groudon EX just as well as Metacham has an um, out ancient trait and his is Omega Barrier so trainer cards like Enhanced Hammer or um, Megaphone that discards your opponent's tool, tool cards will not work on Groudon according to his so we see lots of energies we see grass and we see water I'm still not sure why he would need to run grass oh, we have yet to see grass Pokemon but decks like these that have all these Pokemon scattered around are pretty stuffed but I, I could see something interesting Blastoise is a threat if this is what the Squirtle will evolve to so we see a Kindred Kick but that's no problem Groudon is here to the rescue Primal Groudon but actually I have so many fighting energy in the discard I'm going to get this Lando set up instead of Primal Groudon so why not put this Lando on the bench and we see a whole bunch of interesting cards I don't need this jamming net that's why tool retriever is also super useful you might want to run a second one I don't need the stadium at the moment but I'm gonna attach this biting and um what should I call it muscle band to primal groudon but I'm not gonna charge primal groudon up actually yeah I really should because metacham really shows its full potential through strong energy so I, I'm gonna hope to get that next turn but still so I have a second attacker available with one energy attachment I am going to power up Metacham at the moment. I have yet to deal much damage to my opponent, only 40, and he's getting a bunch of Kindred, kindred kicks atta Kick attacks off, and he's taken already a prize card for knocking out one of my Landrises, but I'm in a much better position than he is with two attackers about to be set up with an energy attachment and Landrises Shout of Power. But we see Blastoise is getting ready, but still that's not I that's not enough damage to really knock out or threaten Primal Groudon. I was scared to see okay, we see a hundred damage. He keeps flipping heads, that lucky guy. And I do have a Lysander, but I'm definitely not gonna play that. I could play the switch, but I don't need that either because I want to keep powering it up. Or maybe I should switch into Primal Groudon. I think that's the correct choice at the moment, actually. Oh, I forgot to play Shrine of Memories. Big mistake. Big mistake. But I believe 120, 140, 160. It's still going down. Especially with the fighting weakness, which I just had realized. But the strong energy is going to go to Metacham now when I can't attack. Why can't I attack? Oh. So you can't attack with Primal Grot. Oh my god, I don't have enough energies. I just realized. Okay, I thought you can't attack without a stadium. Why did I attach in the Metacham? I don't know. He, I just saved his life there his Kangaskhan EX but I have another strong energy in my hand so I'm not completely totaled just yet but that was a very stupid decision by me but he's gonna charge up Blastoise and go for Kindred Kick which he flips heads again peculiar pe peculiarly I can't pronounce that word peculiarly strangely is a synonym so he keeps flipping heads, which is quite lucky. But now I can use that Gaia Volcano. I don't want to discard all this. I'm going to bench that Metatite. 
play an end because I'm not in the need of Pokemon and items. I don't need the Karina. Great hand, great hand. Play the Groudon EX. And I'm looking at my discard pile if I need anything with the Dowsing Machine. But now, rather than that, I'm going to go for Spear Link with Karina next turn. Evolve that Groudon and go for Meta Cham so I can evolve this Meta Tite. And we're off to a great start. Down goes Kangaskhan. 300 damage with the Strong Energies and the Muscle Band. We take two prize cards and we're in the lead. And the Head Ringer is a nice, nice card to draw. But this guy can only knock me out if he has a muscle band. And I've yet to see that card come into play. And look at that. What is that card? If he gets that card, that is very, very dangerous for me. I'm hoping because I saw the top cards of his deck. Top three were energies and he just played a Sharon. So... The fourth card, believe it or not, was the Muscle Band, so I'm in a situation of serious luck right now. He's going to play Rapid Spin. It's almost like... That's really interesting. But the good part is I get to switch after him, and then I get to attack. So we see Squirtle coming up. So, in response, I would like to play the Landorus... But I think the smarter move would be Medicham. I'm sort of doubtful of myself at the moment. I'm sort of thinking. But I'm going to do this. And it's my turn. So I'm going to play the Shine of Memories. And definitely play the Head Ringer. Not onto Kangaskhan, but onto Blastoise. So he has to attach an energy to attack with Splash Bombs. Splash Bomb, excuse me. Okay, this special, this strong energy is going to Metacham. Karina, get myself a Metacham. Get myself a Spirit Link. Actually, a switch at the moment is be a better thing for me, but I'm still, either way, yes, Spirit Link it is. Maybe I should have attached the special strong energy onto Metacham. But I guess it's alright. So I'm not going to lose my turn because of the Spirit Link. And I'm going to attack with Yoga Kick. And not the interesting part is Squirtle is going to go down. I take a prize card, but I'm not done. He chooses a Pokemon to take another 70 damage. Because I can attack twice. Which is really awesome. So even if you knock out a Pokemon, you get to attack again. And I've gotten another Head Ringer, and this time it's going on to Kangaskhan. So he brings out the Blastoise, so I use Yoga Kick. At 70 damage already on Blastoise EX, which is really nice. Really nice. Oh, I just realized I did attach the Strong Energy to Metacham, not to the Primal Groudon. So this guy is weak and exposed. He attaches the Grass Energy, he's going to take Metacham out. But nonetheless, I will take him out with Primal Groudon. Shrine of Memories is in play, so no need to use Gaia Volcano to discard it. It's going to stay in play, and I'm going to use Massive Rend. And out goes Blastoise. So he flips heads, but regardless, he's going down with my Primal Groudon. And the only thing that I might have to fear is him... Suicune coming in with the double colorless energy and attacking this guy, but he won't he won't get enough damage because oh it's a silver bangle. Actually, yes, he will knock my Primal Groudon out. And that would be a serious, serious hold back. But I'm gonna bench the Metatite and finally use that dowsing machine that's been waiting in my hand for a few turns now. And Juniper for this wonderful hand of cards with no energies to attach. They're probably all discarded at the moment, so Groudon needs to stay safe. And I just realized I don't know why I couldn't use Massive Rend. So the stadium goes to the Dispose pile, which sounds better than the Discard pile, but I've pulled an energy, which is um, awesome. 
and a muscle band, which is awesome. Er, so despite him knocking me out, I'm still in a nice situation. He's definitely gonna knock it out, and then I could Lysander for this Reggie. Oh, he's Lysandering. What a foolish choice. Oh no, actually that's slightly smart, I suppose, because he thinks, okay, that was a stupid choice for him, but I am going to tell him a big GG because I have the same card. Whoops. Same card with the same power. Why not attach this guy? Why not attach the muscle band? Why play the... And for added effect, I will use the all-famous... Gaia Volcano. See, as you can see with the Stadium Shrine of Memories, I can use all three of his, his attacks. Gaia Volcano, 520 damage. Weakness, such a powerful move. And that is it for this video. Victory against a pretty strong, decently strong deck. But I just showed you how strong Promograd on EX is and his mate, Metacham. Thank you for watching this video. If you got up to this point, please like, subscribe, and as always, see you guys next time.